Hi everyone, my name is Bilal Khan and I welcome you all to the final part of our just chat tutorial series. In the last video that was section 2, we built the channel list activity where we can see all the Avengers to chat. And now we need to click on an Avenger and then we will open the chat activity and that's what we are going to build in this video. So without breaking the multiverse, let's start. So this is the last project and I will create a new activity for my chat screen. So inside the UI package, I will create a new activity. So I will select an empty activity and I will name it message list activity. So this is our message list activity and we already created a base activity to derive all our activities. So that's why I will inherit base activity instead of this app compat activity. And for the base activity, I need to define the type of my view binding. So I will write here activity message list binding. And I also need to pass the inflate function. So I will write activity message list binding and then inflate and that's it. Now I do not need to set the content here. So this is my activity that I will use to display the chat screen. Now let's go to the XML code and here we need to design the chat screen and to save time, I will quickly do it. So the design is ready and you can see we have a message list header view. Then we have message list view and then we have message input view where we will type the message to send. And all these UI components are from stream as you can see here. So it is very handy to build chat screens using stream. So we have the layout ready. Now let's come back to message list activity. And to start this message list activity, we need the channel ID. So previous screen is the channel list activity. From there, we will select a channel and we will get the channel ID of the selected channel. And when we will start this activity, we will pass the selected channel ID. So what I'll do is I will open Avengers channel list activity and I will copy this companion object because I will define one more function to start the message list activity. So let's open message list activity and paste the companion object. So this time we need channel ID that is CID. So I will write key CID and instead of this key Avenger, I will write key CID and we need to start message list activity this time. So we have start activity, we have the context and instead of Avenger, we will pass the CID this time. So we will put the CID as the extra data in the intent. So everything is ready. Now we can call this start activity function to start the message list activity. And to start this activity, we need to pass context and the channel ID. Now what I will do is to get this channel ID inside my onCreate function, I will create one more extension function and this extension function is same as this get parcelable or throw. But this time we will define a function to get string from the intent. So I will name it as get intent value or throw or you can name it whatever you want. This time I will not make it a generic but it will just return a string. So here I will write get string extra and I will pass the key and everything else is fine. Now I will go to message list activity. Now we will use this function to get the channel ID inside our message list activity. So here I will define a val. So we have val CID equals to intent dot get value or throw get intent value or throw. And to this function, we will pass the key. The key is key underscore CID. So we will pass this key here. Now we have the CID inside our message list activity. And now with the help of CID, we can initialize the chat UI components. Now, if you go to activity underscore message underscore list dot XML, then we have message list header view, message list view, and message input view. 
and to initialize all these three components we have view models for these three ui components and to initialize the view model we need to create message list view model factory so inside our message list activity what i will do is i will create a val that is factory and it is of type message list view model factory and i will initialize it so we have message list view model factory like this and i think i do not need to define a type and to the message list view model factory constructor we need to pass the cid and cid we already have here so i will pass the cid and i have the factory now now i will create three view models for these three ui components the first one is message list header view so here i will write val message list header view model of type message list header view model and i will get it from the function view models like this and inside the trailing lambda we can pass the factory that we already defined so we have the message list header view model now the same way i will define view models for other two ui components so now we have message list header view model message list view model and message input view model now what we will do is we will bind the respective views to the view models and to do this we need to call a function that is called bind view so i will write message list header view model that is our first component dot bind view the first parameter is the actual view and the view we will get from the binding instance so we will write binding dot message list header view for the next parameter we need to pass the life cycle owner that is this and the same thing we will do with other two view models so we have binded all the views with their respective view models now what i will do is i will observe the mode the current mode from the message list view model so let's write message list view model dot mode dot observe for the life cycle owner i will pass this and it will give me the mode now i will check what is the current mode using when statement so i will write when mode and i can add the remaining conditions here i will select this add remaining branches so i have two cases if the current mode is thread then in that case i will set the parent message so i will write message list view model dot set active thread and i will get the parent from this mode so i will write here mode dot parent message the same thing i will do with message list header view model so here i will write message list header view model dot set active thread and i will pass mode dot parent message so i have set the active thread for header view model and input view model now if it is a normal message then i will reset the active thread so what i will do is i will write message list header view model dot reset thread and the same thing i will do with message input view model now after this we will set the message edit handler to our message list view and to do this we will get the message list view from the binding so i will write binding dot message list view and then i will call the function that is set message edit handler and we will get the message edit handler from this view model that is message input view model so here i will write message input view model and then double colon and then post message to edit this way i am passing the reference of this function to this set message edit handler and the message edit handler is set to my message list view now finally we will observe the state from message list view model so i will write message list view model dot state dot observe again i will pass this as the life cycle owner and it will give me state now i will check 
if the state is navigate up that means user has clicked the back button so in this case what i will do is i will close the activity so that user will go back to the channel list activity and that's it i think it will work but before running the application we need to start this message list activity so what i will do is i will go to avengers channel list activity and here i will write binding dot channel list view dot set channel item click listener so i will set a channel item click listener and here i will get the channel so now inside this trailing lambda i will write message list activity dot start activity for the context we can pass this and we will get the cid from it or you can write here channel so from this channel we will get the cid so let's write channel dot cid like this and that's it now let's run the application and see whether it is working or not so we have the home screen that is working fine let's select spider-man and we have the channel list screen we have all the avengers here let's select doctor strange and we are inside message list activity and here we can type some message hey stephen please help me so it is working absolutely fine so we have finally completed our avengers chat application and if you need the source code then you can get it from the link that is given in the description of this video and if you like the stream sdk then please try to build your own chat applications using stream sdk and don't forget to subscribe to stream so thanks for watching everyone this is bilal khan now signing off